Hello and welcome to Addicted to Angling. Now, as you can probably tell, I'm not in Suffolk. I've come down today to Selsey, down on the Sussex coast, to try and target an undulate or a hound. That is what I'm hoping to get. The rods have been out about 20 minutes to half an hour. Missed a slack line on the left-hand rod, and I do believe I may have a bite on this rod, the right-hand rod already as well. The weather when we left Suffolk was blowing a hoolie. It was absolutely disgusting. It was pouring down with rain. It was blowing massive winds, but the wind slurm coming from westerly. So we've come down to East Beach. Celsi goes out in a point. You've got East Beach, West Beach. If the wind's coming from the west, you're totally sheltered on East Beach. And as you can see, conditions are absolutely perfect. Absolutely spot on. Down here with Marcus King and his little boy. They're in the bay next door to me. Hopefully they'll get into some fish as well. With the conditions the way they are, we could well see an undulate. It's the target, the main target is an undulate, but like I say, hounds as well. I'll go through all my bait, rigs, tactics throughout the video. But yeah, road trip. You can't beat a road trip. And coming down to somewhere like Celsi, it holds, it holds some good memories for me. These bays that we're now fishing, I've had big undulates from here. I've had hounds from here in the past. So I'm hoping tonight could well produce the goods. Massive tide. Like I say, if we're fishing on the other side, I'm pretty sure it would be really minging, as in conditions, waves, swell, everything would be completely, I don't want to say unfishable, but it'd be hard. It wouldn't be ray, um, ray conditions. But like I say over here, it's looking spot on. Sun is shining. It's now coming over low. We got up to high, down the other side. Let's see if we can get a fish. What can I say? Celsius East Beach. I know a lot of you out there, you fish much better places. You got whales, you got chesel, places like that. I do not have the capability to fish those places every weekend. I'm from Suffolk, I'm on the East Coast. The fishing down there is never fantastic. I'm not gonna lie to you. We don't get hardly any of the big ray species. All we get is fawnies. Codlin don't run, we don't get congas, we don't get blondes, we don't get spotted, we don't really get much at all. But East Beach is accessible, it's quite a nice drive. In a big westerly wind, this is the place to be. It really is. But anyway, bait for tonight. As always, good old unwashed squid. This stuff is absolutely mint. This is one bait I would never, ever want to be without when I'm fishing. Sod the blooming bleach calamari stuff. That stuff, in my eyes, it's washed. It's got no scent in it. It's, that's why it's white, because it's been bleached, etc. This stuff has all the scent you need. Calamari, I will never, ever use. I will always use this. This has got everything in it that you need to catch a fish. Went to Morrison's fish counter earlier. What are the fish baits? Sardines. That there is three quid's worth of sardines. I'm not one for going and buying frozen bluey, frozen herring, frozen anything from the bait shops. Morrison's, Tesco, Sainsbury's fish counter, three quid, and you could have an amazing session on fish, anything that eats fish, like rays, congas, etc. things like that. The amount of oils, juices, these are so greasy, and they hold the oils for absolutely ages. Sardines to me, they're a killer bait, you know, formbacks love them, rays love them, anything that eats fish absolutely loves them. And then for high tide onwards, well, probably an hour before high, got peelers, gold dust. We're down a place where hounds run, and I know for a fact that there have been hounds caught already this year. It's beginning of April. Now it's early. Not gonna get a massive amount, but there are hounds here. Also the undulates to take these as well. Don't get me wrong, doggies will absolutely batter them. But peeler, an hour before high, and then down on the ebb, these will be going out and they could be the deciding thing between catching and not catching. Rig wise for tonight, we have, I'm fishing, my usual, single hook pulleys. I've got, five or six ounce lead, depending on what the tide is doing. Gem and I splash down to an 80 pound rig body. And then you have bead, swivel, bead, another swivel to a 20 pound snood. 
I don't really go more than that, to be honest with you. I'm used to fishing the East Coast. 20 pounds to me is absolutely perfect. Don't need no more than that. 2A. 3O. Seaglow Cato hook. Single hook. Smallish baits about the size of my thumb. That's all I need. Sharp as you like. They always do the do. They always hook into the fish. Never had a problem with them whatsoever. And that's how I'm doing it. That's my baits. That's my rigs. All we need to do is add fish now and we will be onto a winner. It's going to get dark in a little while. I know the doggies will come on the feed when it gets dark. But as this tide comes up, I mean, it's now coming up, touching the groin. Halfway up through the groins, I find here is when the fish really start coming on the feed. And they're like saying, hour before, before high, down on the ebb. That's the one. Are we going to do it? Are we going to catch something from this beach? Who knows? By the end of this video, we'll know if it was worthwhile coming. Stick with me, stick through the video, and let's see if we can pull a chunk from Celsius Beach. Well, I have my first two fish of the night. One has absolutely destroyed run one rig. And that's the other one. Something different. We don't get these on the East Coast. Strap congas. Hopefully these aren't going to be like doggies tonight and absolutely plague us. But like I say, for me, that is something different. We don't get these on the East Coast at all. Strap conga. Be nice to get one of these uh, mummies or daddies. I wouldn't mind something, you know, a bit bigger than that as a conga wise, but you know, the fish are here, it's a start. Like I say, not what we're here for, but a fish is a fish. I'll go and get this little slippery bugger back, untangle the other one and get that back and get another couple of baits out. Right. It's now half 10, that's two hours before high tide. The reason I've been on to speak to you for a little while is mainly because I've got new line on my reels and of course, I had a massive birdie, which I've just had to sit there for half an hour and I'm thinking, so I will not be the team if I multiply my reels or I get a birdie. I like to untangle them and try and get the bottom, which I did. So I ain't lost no line. So far, the two doggies, not two doggies, sorry, two congas. And I've got a plonkin slack line bite. Looked up. Rod was going over, sprang back. Line fell straight to the floor. Nothing there. This is what it is. Could have been anything. Marcus has had a little dog. The tide is pushing up very, very fast. I'm not sure how high it's going to come. But if it does come, it's just going to be a quick scarper back and get on the wall. Wind is dying off absolutely massively. All in all, the recipe and all the ingredients are there. For success in life. Whether it happens or not, is a different story. Like I say, two congas. We don't get them in each area. A lot of people out there will be sitting there saying, oh, strap congas, but the species I don't catch in this angle, so it is nice to see. But it's the big boys and girls that we're here for. And they might come. You know, like I say, I'm confident. It looks good. Doing all we can. Got both baits out. The crab is still sitting there. The star bait is still sitting there. That's sitting there, waiting to be used. Give it an hour and that will start going out. But we're doing what we can do. And who knows? We might get a nice fish coming out. Fingers crossed. Well, it's now coming up to high tide. We've been pushed off the beach. The tide is rising that high. We're now on the um, on the promenade bit fishing off there. Couple of dogs for me. And I've also just had this cool. Blimey. Slippery little bugger. Biggest conger I've ever had, because obviously, like I say, we don't get them on the East Coast. He is a strong little bugger. Slack line me right off. Started taking me down tide. I'm going to go and put him back, but yeah. Like I say, Congas don't get them on the east coast, so I'm pretty happy with that. I've now started putting crab out on run one as well. See if that makes a difference. See if over high and then down the other side, we get anything uh, half decent. But yeah, another conga. Happy with that. Like I say, it's only a strap. But biggest one I've ever had. 
and we don't get them on the East Coast, so a new species is a new species. We've had three tonight now, so happy days. Right, let's crack on. Let's keep fishing. Hey, yo, Marcus fishing with Matt here at Celsi. Had a nice little bite with a little bass. Cheer up. Nice old bite, took me into the next bay, into Matt's bay. Nice little fight. A lovely little, lovely little bass that. It'll do. Cheer up. Happy days. Just getting back. There you go, eh? Marcus had a nice bass. It's now two o'clock in the morning, roughly about an hour and a half after high. All I've had is doggies, doggies and more doggies. For a little while, that tide has absolutely steamed through. It's now, I'm only now managing to hold bottom properly when I cast out. Before I was getting washed out to the point where I was putting seven ounces out. And if I went too far, I was going right around the groin next door. But it's now holding. I've got two lovely baits out there. I've got a whole squid with some um, sardine on it. On the left hand rod and the right hand rod is crab and squib. And it's now a case to sit back relax everything seems to have calmed down as in the sea state and see what comes along that got really rough at one point really really rough it was churning right up in front of us a bit of weed started coming through as well but like i say it now seems to have calmed down it's now a case of fishing hard and trying to get through it see if something special comes along conditions are perfect for it i've said it all along you know it's even though you've got the white water at the front, it's flat calm behind it, you know, and there is some depth there. The wind has st slowly started dying off. As it said, it was meant to on XC weather. So yeah, you never know. Let's keep plugging along. Like I say, it's about quarter to two, two o'clock. So you're roughly looking at, we've got about two and a half hours left before we go home. That's two and a half hours to get something decent out of here. Let's see if we can do it. Well, sorry for ending the video there. As you can see, I'm home, I'm showered, I'm, uh, yeah, basically clean, up and ready. Had a few technical problems with the camera, so no more filming got done, but you didn't really miss much, to be honest with you. It was a dog fest, few more straps, and that was it. We then packed up probably around about five o'clock in the morning, come back to Ipswich. No undulates, unfortunately, however... We will be back to try and target them again. Like I said, I've had them there before. I know they are there. It's just one of them things. Maybe the tide was too big. Maybe it was just one of them things where we weren't to be our night to get one. Hey ho. Right, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you got this far, please give the video a like. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. It just helps the channel to grow massively. So like I say, thank you very much for watching. You take care of yourself. And I'll see you by the beach very soon.